we, we were out mining and uh, out there on our trailer right now, it's a little shack that kind of reminds me of it. It's a generator shack, but we were living in a <clears throat> missile tracking uh, station, little box. It was a missile tracking station equipment. All the equipment was gone, but it was at this mine. That was what we lived in while we were at the mine. And we get up one morning, we go light the little Coleman lamp, and all it does is go spark, 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 spark. Nothing but sparks. There's, there's nothing there. And we know that it's it just sparks. It wouldn't light the, the light. And then uh, somebody lit a match. That was the next thing, yeah. Somebody lit a match. The sulfur on the match burnt, and the cardboard on the match wouldn't go. It wouldn't light. So we found a wooden match. Lit the wooden match, and the wood wouldn't light. So, and we're all not quite thinking as good as we should. <clears throat> One of the guys says, I think I know what's wrong. Being a very analytical, mechanical type person, and it wasn't me, but he went over to the door, just barely cracked the door, took a match, put it outside with his, his face still inside, lights the match, and the match burns fine outside. He's, and then he closes the door, announces to us all, we're dying from oxygen starvation. And he tells, us, tells me about, and the other guys, about these weird dreams he was having. Yeah, I thought, I said, open the door! <laughs> so then he opened the door, and we proceeded to continue living. <laughs> but and I can't blame him for being, you know, because he, he had a natural analytical mind. He was going to analyze it. He wasn't all there because of the oxygen starvation. None of us were, you know. And, and what it was, we'd been heating with propane in the building, and the propane had used up the oxygen. There was a little window that was open. It was actually a lot more uh, area open than what I thought it, that, you know, it, it surprised me how little it was uh, that, that it took for us to be. We had a heater. Uh, I think it was about a 12,000 BTU heater, and we had an opening of probably 2 inches by 24 inches that was open, just an open hole. And I really had figured that that would give us enough oxygen. And had there been wind and things, it, it very well could have, but I know it didn't. <laughs> and so that was a little learning experience to me. And, uh, but the funniest part about it was when uh, he's there at the door and he said, oh, I got it figured out. <laughs> hey, guess what, guys? This is really cool. You'll be glad to know that we're all dying because they're not having oxygen. <laughs> like, well, that's nice to know, but how about we fix the problem? <laughs> and he was, he was ready to fix the problem, too, at that point. <laughs> but he wanted me to try check it out first. Though. He was first going to have me go over to the door and check it. I'm like, no, just open the door. I believe you. <laughs>